Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So as I mentioned in the last video, uh, we're going to move on to the first step in landing page creation, which is inspiration and wireframing. Just to recap, this whole step is to make sure that we don't go straight into design phase, straight into build phase, and end up wasting resources without really ironing out what it is you want the page to, to look like, to do, the feel, all of the components that, that go into it that we discussed, you know, the headline, CTA, imagery, all of that good stuff. So I showed you landing folio on the last video, and these are the three sources of inspiration that I picked for my landing page. I'll show you the components that I'm going to pull out uh, and what I want to incorporate in my wireframe before I do it, and then we'll move on to actually drawing the wireframe out and then ultimately going towards building a landing page. So I picked these three examples. I'll start with ClickFunnels. This is a very, very effective funnel creation software, uh, very, very strong marketing. And the things that I like most about this page I'm going to take is this navigation. I like just the logo and uh, the CTA up here. Instead of member login, I'll probably put a call to action here. Uh, and I like this video header and I like this format of um, social proof. So I'm going to, in my version, have the same video on the right hand side here. I'm going to take this um, social proof bar and extend it all the way out. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna make like a full width version of this with like the little counters here. Uh, and you know, that's kind of the main piece that I like about this landing page. So I'm gonna, you know, take this navigation, uh, take this social proof bar and extend it all the way out and put the, the video uh, similar to they have it here. Then I found this, uh, I'll jump over to this one. I found this landing kit and I liked their structure here with the copy. So I'm gonna take um, probably somewhat of this background image formatting with this waviness back here, with the, put the video on this side and structure it with headline, subhead, and like the three main bullet points here uh, with another call to action. So I'll take this, I'll extend it all the way across, and I'll have this CTA match the one that we took from ClickFunnels right here. So that'll construct my whole header. I'll have the video, uh, this style of, of heading, subhead, bullet point, CTA in the header, and uh, most likely this same background imagery that they have going here. And then I particularly like this uh, clockwise page for the way that they structure their benefits. So if I was thinking back to the drift example where they bulleted one, two, three, you know, this is what you'll get from it. Uh, this landing page is going to be promoting this course because it makes sense to, to do a landing page on par with what we're working on. So I will do this structure with uh, image, 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 uh, alternating with the key point about this course is that I want to get across. So like the various things that you'll accomplish. Uh, and that's why I'll have to work on the copy. But in the wireframing stage, you're just thinking about positioning, not the exact copy that's gonna go here, but getting a rough idea. So in summary, I'm gonna take this navigation and this video and this social proof. Uh, from here, I'm going to take the landing kit, uh, heading, subhead, bullet points, and CTA structure, that, and possibly this background that I like here. And then from the clockwise example, I'm gonna do the benefits in this alternating image with, uh, with the bullet points. Uh, along the side. So it'll be a pretty simple landing page, but those are the three that I'm leaning on for inspiration. I'm then going to pull this out and put it into my, my hand-drawn wireframe, which we'll hop into right now. Stay tuned.